One of the first things I noticed, the gate material, the point where the sprue meets the actual part, is the traditional type that you get with model kits. Taking your plastic nippers or wire cutters or whatever you have, inspect the piece to see which points are going to be visible in the kit when it's finished and from this I would say this is visible but these two parts won't be. They're like the axles for the shoulders so I'm going to be cutting as close to the part as I can. This I'm going to leave a bit of the gate material left over. Then take your hobby knife, cut away bit by bit carefully and following the surface and I will swap it back and forth until you can't feel the step where the gate material used to be. Finally I will rub over it with my fingernail that will help relieve stress marks in the plastic and like I said these can stay rough because we're never going to see them. The polyurethane poly caps as they are commonly referred to I usually just twist them off. Clear parts you should be a bit more careful about because it's very easy to crack these but generally I would take the same approach. I shouldn't need to bother with cleaning them up because I expect them to be covered up after final assembly. And that is how I cut parts from the sprues.